greetings. How are you? And they came here to update a new model. Carbonization furnace continuously working the big drum rotary type. And it is uh, the new model with higher capacity and less pollution and no dust, no smoke emission, and also it's without water purification. So it's no need to build a water pool and it can work in normally. If you are interested in it, then watch more for further details. New type continuous rotary carbonization furnace. No need using the water purification system. And this is the whole unit. First, we need to open the rotating system and operate on this control cabinet to drive the rotary system. And open the ignition for the preheating using the liquid guys. This one is generate the liquid gas. And we will use four bottles liquid gas, LPG bottle, and put here, connect here. And these are safety valves. We start the fire for the preheating the furnace. And we light the fire using the electric ignition. These are electric ignition.
From this tube, we bring the liquid gas, and to each burner, it always evolves. One, two, three, four, five, six, and this, and this. And from here, we generate the air into the ignition. There are total two air blower, the first one and the second one. From this place, we bring the air into the ignition. It's with valves also. And these are all electric. And there's a observe observation hole. Just like that one. And we can observe the fire condition from here. After the furnace temperature reaches we fit in the materials. You can use wide range biomass materials like wood chips, sawdust, coconut shell pieces, palm kernel, palm kernel shell and others all able to use. And we fit in here, and the size, it can be adjustable. And it's rotating screws to fit in here. And that, that position is with, with ceiling design. So the materials fit in is is totally without oxygen and it will be going through this a big drum roller big drum and it is rotating with inner design and this from here is carbonization position from here to there And now we need open the purification drought fan, the big one. And it will promote the airflow all through the furnace and all through the whole system. We burn the smoke um, at the bottom. After it's producing the flammable gas, and now we can stop the liquid, a uh, liquid external heating source, and all using the flammable gas, the recycled, the the fuel for the furnace heating. And after that. This ignition all can stop and keep the purification uh, drought fan working, bringing the airflow, it's hitting the bottom. And after that, we get the charcoal from this side. From here, We have the complete cooling system. So after the charcoal drops down and it will go in through this 
totally 18 meters, the lens pass always the cooling water surround it, and then finally drop down here so we get the cooled charcoal and we collect it here. After that, we're continuously feeding, uh, feeding materials and continuously getting the ready charcoal. And there's another design is made from, uh, it's made based on the customer's request. We use the ex extra guys for a burner. And this is the stainless steel, uh, stainless boiler. It's able to transport, um, feeding. We're going through the uh, cool water and take out the hot water. It will keep uh, keep boiling and we keep continuously getting the hot water. And it is using the uh, extra guys. Because that, uh, during the carbonization, it's producing a lot of flammable guys. So our customer want to use it for heating another, another, another sauce. So this is the boiler and this is the burner. It's fully with the fair resistant bricks built inside. So it's uh, also a heat keeper and the fire burning inside and you cannot see in the open open flame. So this complete unit, it's smokeless and no fire and no door. It is very environmental protective and very easy to use and save the space for the factory. And this too is dust collector, the cyclone separator, and it will be the airlock for both at the bottom, the airlock.
Thank you for watching and you can contact me by WhatsApp.